guys and welcome back to another episode of Draw With T. Today's episode is going to be special. Um, so for the entirety of the series so far, you've been watching me fill up Sketchbook 32. Uh, you've seen the cover of Sketchbook 32. It's in the intro and the outro. And um, this is my only sketchbook that's ever been recorded, which kind of makes it special. But uh, as with all sketchbooks, you know, they've got limited numbers of pages and Sketchbook 32 is about to be put on my shelf of other sketchbooks. Now as the name implies, Sketchbook 32 is my 32nd sketchbook. Uh, that name is actually a little bit of a lie because I do have other sketchbooks um, that have been filled. Um, what denotes Sketchbook 32 as Sketchbook 32 is the size. So I've, ha I've filled up 32 sketchbooks of this eight and a half by 11 and also a four size. I believe it's a four. Um, I do have a few other sketchbooks I filled up kind of like some big ones. Um, there's some loose leaf papers, some tiny sketchbooks. Um, I could probably start doing tours of those if you guys are interested in seeing my older works. But anyways, this is kind of the main sketchbook size that I work in and that I like. And I go through about two to four sketchbooks a year, depending on how much I draw and sketch. Um, this last year, 2019, was a, a very heavy sketch year. So um, sketchbook 32 is going to have been the fourth sketchbook that I had in that year which uh, I, I like years where I sketch a lot. But, of course, Sketchbook 32 is now basically filled up, and going forward, I'm going to have to work in Sketchbook 33. But I don't like working in blank sketchbooks. Um, I haven't had a blank sketchbook since Sketchbook 14. Um, and that was... Uh, sketchbook 14 was uh, a lot older than Sketchbook 15. Sketchbook 15... I was returning to sketchbooking because uh, I needed to keep a sketchbook in college. Before that, I had gone gone to using loose leaf paper and just keeping it all in uh, in binders. But enough of that. So coming up with an idea for sketchbook 33. Um, I didn't have a lot of time. Normally, I like to spend a lot of time coming up with ideas, but you're going to see here that I very quickly uh, moved on from the thumbnail phase right into the digital digital sketching. I didn't even fin fill up this page. And the reason was I'm, I was just kind of strapped for time and I, I had already kind of come up with an idea. And once I had one good idea, I kind of figured, you know what, I, you know, I probably could come up with some other cool stuff. But right now, right, I just sort of had other things that I needed to get to. And the idea was good enough that I knew that I'd be fine with it for the next, you know, three to six months. So there we go. That, those are just some really quick thumbnails that I did. You can kind of see what I'll be uh, sketching here in the in the next part. And here we get a quick glance of uh, Sketchbook 32 before going into Photoshop. Okay, and now we're in Photoshop, and here I am sketching up a quick little doodle of um, Sketchbook 33. On the left, you have um, you can see my inspirations and my references. I've got a couple pictures of She-Ra there because uh, the, the sort of background was an inspiration for Sketchbook 32. And with Sketchbook 33, I basically wanted it to fit in with the theme of Sketchbook 32 because I, I like the direction that uh, that Sketchbook 32 took. It was a bit of a different sketchbook from what I normally do. And I, I wanted to have um, that silhouetted figure and the rainbow, and I kind of wanted a colored background um, again for Sketchbook 33. So here you can see um, I'm doing something a bit different to what I normally do here. So normally I, I'm a very line-based artist, and I like to have very clean lines and you know very defined characters before I move into other elements like background and color. But here you saw that I just very quickly laid down some construction lines with only really a focus on the outline of Tristan um, before I started slapping down some, some color. And that's very unusual for me, but I wanted to try it. I just wanted to see how it looked and it kind of felt right. Um, usually when I've done that in the past, the results are really bad, but uh, you know, sometimes it's good to experiment. Um, and I, I really like the results. This is uh, a much more color-based piece than it is, I'd say, a line-based piece. 
Now here I'm doing something I also don't normally do. Now I traditionally don't really shade my sketchbook covers just because I, I don't actually have a lot of confidence in my ability to paint traditionally. Um, but here I just wanted to try it and I just kind of felt like it was something I had to do and I, I'm glad I did. And uh, you'll see how that turned out in the final sketchbook, but that'll be, that'll be in the following episode, not this one. Um, here I'm quickly slapping in She-Ra because I was just really curious um, if, if that sort of pose and composition might actually work better than the one I had and I quickly decided it, it didn't. And uh, that's a good trick of um, saving yourself a bit of time in the process. Uh, obviously I wouldn't have just traced that figure, um, but you know, in terms of just quickly needing to see, yeah, do I want Tristan looking off into a direction, pointing, pointing off page at something? And the answer was no, I really didn't. So the thing I struggled with most here is the background, which is unusual for me. Um, usually there's not really a background in my, uh, in my sketchbook covers. Um, usually the problem is with figure anatomy. But um, here, figure anatomy wasn't too, too much of a difficulty. I just had a hard time deciding what I wanted the background to be. Uh, I thought I wanted something that was going to look just like Sketchbook 32, but I really didn't like the way that the colors um, blended with the rainbow. It just sort of ate it up and took away all the impact, and I wanted that impact to be fully on the rainbow that was sort of coming from the top of Tristan's helmet and around her neck. Um, so I kind of settled on this sort of traditional um, dark, you know, uh, dark background with um, what would be gold leaf um, rays coming off of Tristan. And here I'm thieving the words that I had made for Sketchbook 32. And I thought, well, maybe I can, uh, you know, just make the, the 32 a 33 and that would be that. But it just didn't quite feel right. So uh, I flipped it around ups um, upside down, and I actually kind of liked how how that looked. Um, now I wasn't gonna write it, I wasn't gonna have it upside down, but I I just liked the composition, and here you'll see uh, you'll see what my idea was. And I, I kind of like that. Um, I didn't really have a strong theme in mind for Sketchbook 33. For Sketchbook 32, I was kind of going for a a, a mix of um, a little bit of mix of uh, some you know modern bright colors, uh, but a little bit of an homage to say you know 1980s. Obviously, I was looking at things like She-Ra and He-Man, um, Conan, that sort of classic pose of the character standing in sort of a triangular position, raising their weapon to the sky, and just kind of that uh, that classic bright colored you know, character design of, uh, of that sort of retro era. And I think that came out a lot more prominent, especially with uh, this sort of type, type work that I'm doing here with the kind of intercepting triangle at the bottom um, and just the, the sort of the spacey background behind this uh, glittery bright character with a rainbow just feels very 80s and I'm actually not really opposed to that. I, I quite like it. Normally... Normally, I prefer the 90s a bit more, but, uh, you know, it's the 80s. I really like that sort of 80s um, cartoon look. And here you're going to see me play around with the, the background and the um, type elements, like whether I want some kind of band behind the words or, or what. And uh, you're going to see me play around with the background again right here as I try to figure out um, if it's just a matter of finding the right, the right hue, the right color, the right value. So now, now I've come back to, uh, to, the, to this piece. I let it sit for a little bit. And I finally kind of decided on the background I wanted, and it's now time for me to refine the, the rough and um, basically create the final piece that I will use to um, paint my actual sketchbook. So the first thing that I wanted to do was to strengthen up the figure and just solidify the silhouette, fix a few of the issues that were with the armor and just kind of uh, 
make it look make it look a little nicer, a little cleaner. So I was having issues with this far arm, and I kind of remembered that my reference of She-Ra seemed to have a, a good pose for that, so I just kind of grabbed that arm to help me with that with that lower lower arm. And you know, that's okay to do as an artist. Obviously, you don't want to copy the entire thing. Um, I might feel a little little worse for doing that if this was uh, a more serious project. Though, not really, because I'm just really just using the anatomy, uh, the positioning of, of that arm, as opposed to stealing the entire character design or, or such. Now, I probably wouldn't have bothered going into such detail with the construction of this figure, but since I had kind of decided to do shading for this sketchbook, it was kind of important for me to understand what was happening. Uh, if this was just a pure silhouette, I would mainly just focus on the silhouette and what felt important for that, other than maybe the eyes, as I'm doing now. Uh, and I would have just let the, the rest be, but you can tell that like the, um, the detailing of the crest on the chest, that's important if I want to shade it. Um, and here I've turned off everything just to just to fix up the figure. Here you're gonna see me play around with the size of Tristan as kind of a way of informing what's up with the left hand. Like I thought maybe maybe I want uh, Tristan to appear smaller so I can actually have um, a bit more of her sword in in view um, just so we can see that. And I kind of ultimately I sort of decided it wasn't incredibly important. I wanted the focus to be more on Tristan than uh, her holding a weapon or, or anything like that. Now the rest of this is pretty straightforward and it doesn't really require me to say all that much about what's happening. I'll just be further refining the, the figure and then ultimately filling in and coloring in the elements such as like the rainbow scarf and uh, the background and all that. Nothing that, nothing that hasn't already been done before. So I'm going to talk a little bit about um, about why I paint my sketchbooks and and all that. So I kind of um, there I have two what I call two eras of sketchbooking, and there's the era of sketchbook one through fourteen, and they're just your basic plain sketchbooks, cheap ones that you can get from Walmart or whatever. And um, that was from the era where I just basically sketched because sketchbooks were just pads of paper to me, really. Um, and then at some point, I started um, kind of losing a bit of interest in art. I was having some issues. I was kind of uh, going through my mid-teens at that point, later teens, and just, you know, going through those, those teen angst issues, and uh, I didn't draw as much. And for some reason, I moved on to just drawing on loose-leaf paper, and then I would put those loose-leaf sheets in uh, little page protectors and put them in binders. So I was almost making my own type of, of sketchbook in a way. Um, I returned to sketchbooking um, with Sketchbook 15 when I went to college. And in college, they mandated that we keep a sketchbook. And for a while, they didn't really do anything other than tell us we should be sketchbooking. But then there were classes where they wanted to see our sketchbooks um, and kind of grade us on that. And so I, I, I kept a sketchbook. Um, I went through quite a few sketchbooks in college, actually. Sketchbook 15 through to 26 were all done in my uh, my five years in uh, in art college, and uh, most of those sketchbooks, sketchbook 20, roughly about half of 20, right through to sketchbook 20, most a, a chunk of 26, were all filled in my my final um, year of uh, of college. And that was basically because um, previous to that, we had to fill these sort of really large sheets of what we called bond paper. And I believe they would have been 17 by 22 inches, um, basically four sheets of, of uh, eight and a half by 11 paper. And that's what we put, did everything on. Um, so we had booklets, big, big fat booklets of these um, bond sheets. And that's what our project was. And we'd hand that in along with our final for, for grading. But in our final year, things were a little bit more loose. Um, we could present our process uh, digitally because the college had finally, finally begun to allow digital, digital submission of work. Um, and so we were basically able to work in our sketchbooks and that's where suddenly those booklets filled with bond paper became sketchbooks filled with projects. And I much prefer that 
Um, I would highly recommend, if you're an artist, to, to keep a sketchbook if you aren't. Um, treat it as a place where you can just fill, you know, a pad of paper. Don't make it precious. Don't try to fill it all with finished art. That's the wrong way of using a sketchbook. Um, it's just, uh, you know, a pad of paper. Just fill it with your ideas. Because um, one of my favorite things to do is look through my old sketchbooks and see what I was thinking and see what I was going through. Um, one of the things I do with my sketchbooks is I actually will print out digital work such as this and I'll paste them in um, just to show future me that those gaps in my sketchbook, it wasn't because I wasn't drawing, it was because I was working digitally and to kind of show myself the progression of things. And I quite like that. It's, um, it's been very helpful in um, me kind of seeing visually myself as a person as I grow and also as an artist how I grow. But I think that's enough for now. I'm basically basically done here. So this is the final concept for Sketchbook 33. And then you'll see me uh, print this out and um, work on the actual sketchbook in the next episode. So I'll see you guys there. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and have a good day, evening, or night.